Okay, hello everyone. This is me, the real me. And uh, this time, this is a video from my friend, Jerry Mouse. Uh, he is a proper god gamer, in case you don't know him. Uh, he specializes in monoclass estates. Monoclass mono estates, as in an estate that you just play one single class for the entire estate. So, as far as I know, he beat like eight monoclass estates, as in Jester, Bounty Hunter, Grave Robber, Man at Arms, Abomination, Highwayman, Plague Doctor, Houndmaster, and he could have beat Crusader. It's a really easy monoclass estate Crusader, but it was just too tedious and boring for him, so he just didn't finish it. I I I played uh, Crusader, Houndmaster, and Highwayman, and yeah, he could have definitely beat Crusader if he wanted to. Anyways, like this video is from six years ago when he like barely started playing Darkest Dungeons. So this is supposed to be an inspirational video because he's a proper god gamer now, but he was a big noob six years ago. And it kind of shows that even if you suck at the game, you could always get better if you just keep playing like learn stuff so yeah this is supposed to be inspirational let's nit nitpick first so i've watched the video like twice this is an apprentice crew boss battle yeah crew boss battle and uh you look at his like the stuff that he bought and like two shovels on a cove medium holy cow yeah you buy at least like four shovels on a cove short five maybe on medium and like Five or six, maybe even seven on Cove Long, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jerry's a proper god gamer, and like, it's weird to see like him doing funky stuff. Like, mm, provisions, like he bought like two bandages for Cove, even with Plague Doctor. Like, two keys for Cove, two herbs on Cove Medium. He should definitely buy more provisions. Yeah, these days he buys like full torches, kind of, like, Full food. I don't know, like, there's Vestal and Crusader with plus torch skills, so maybe he could buy a bit less. Maybe buy, like, I don't know, like, two full stacks and four, so that would be 20, but yeah. Look at his comp, too, like, Plague Doctor Vestal backline, oh my, yeah. Pro, like, god gamers, like, nerd gamers, they will, they would never run. Plague Doctor, Vestal Backlines for normal gameplay. Like, Crusader, Hellion Frontline. I personally put, like, Crusader in the back to use Holy Lances. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I watched the video and, like, yeah, some of you are gonna be, like, uh, like, going wows. Yeah. To be fair, Jerry is a proper god gamer. Like, I know how he plays. He's one of my closest friends. Closest Darkest Dungeon friends and, like, this is from six years ago, so like, don't be too judging, but anyways, yeah. Let's skip the loading. Skip loading. Skip, skip, skip. Okay. 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 Yeah, it should be good. Let's go. The rock base from secure retired dinghy below. Hmm, okay. Stop the loading already. The poor devils. Alright. Yeah. Hellion has good skills, but like, I'm gonna spoiler something. This is a boss battle. Everyone has level 3 upgrades, it's good. Level 3 weapons, level 3 armor, level 3 skills, I think. No trinkets on any of them. So, the comp is iffy because, like, uh, their collector matchup isn't so amazing because they don't have fast and furious stuns against rank 1, so that's kind of something bad. All the heroes have no trinkets on. What the hell is going on? Yeah, but let's go. Yeah, Jerry uses anti-venom to empty an inventory slot and get some stress heals, I guess. Doesn't get the stress heal. Like, interacts with the sack. Gets food and gold, okay. Okay, like, this is preference. This is preference, but I personally suck at calculating stuff, so I kind of like... If you've seen my videos, you would know that I like, I like organizing stuff. I like organizing stuff. It's a good habit in my opinion, but if you're like really good at calculating stuff, 
you don't necessarily need to organize your inventory to make stuff like easier to figure out but if you're I don't know if you don't have amazing calculating skills maybe maybe organize your inventory but yeah other yeah, Jerry checks trap disarm chances. He's probably gonna trap disarm with one of them. Yeah, Plague Doctors doesn't have any trinkets too. And look at her skills. Noxious Blast, okay. Uh, Plague Grenade, okay. Incision, running boat. Plague Grenade, Incision. What the hell, Jerry? What the hell? What the hell, Jerry? Battlefield Medicine makes sense, but dang, son. Also, like, Crusader, yeah. Hellion is some backline damage, but like I would have run like backline crusader or I don't know, maybe at least have like disorienting blast to like bring backline enemies to the front, but dang Jerry, yeah. Mmm Jerry. <laughs> yeah, I like having this opportunity to like, you know <laughs> shit on a god gamer. I don't usually get such chances, but yeah. Yeah, Jerry got lucky. Jerry got a secret room, so no scouting trinkets as far as I know. Probably didn't have any uh, scouting quirks. I don't care, but yeah. So, your base scouting chance is 25%. You get plus 15 if you have highlight. So, like, if Jerry had highlight here, I don't even remember. I, I don't want to rewind. If Jerry had a 40% chance to scout, he had half of that chance, so 20% to get a critical scout. Scout like two hallways. So Jerry got lucky, got the 20% critical scout, found the secret room. He heads inside. He uses a key. This is valid, but if you don't want to backtrack or you just if you just want to be safe, safe is safe, you can just get the secret room right away. But what a lot of people do, they're worried about like not just, you know, Filling their inventory st space too soon, so what a lot of people do is like they backtrack when they use up most of their provisions and when they have more space in their inventory, and they just use the key, and then a lot of times you just like have like a little bit of food left, a little bit of torches, one key left, and like they open this up, then like they throw away the remaining food, torches, and keys, and they just fill the remaining spaces with the puzzling trapezohedron so that's something you might want to know all right oh yeah jerry was using an inventory mod i think i don't think like six years ago i don't think there was like i don't know there wasn't the com <laughs> dlc so he couldn't have had the geological study hall which lets you stack more puzzling trapezohedron so i think he was using an inventory stacking mod but whatever it's okay it's I'm not gonna like sentence him to death for that. Yeah. Okay, he like loot stuff. Okay, like you're gonna be, you might vomit blood, so I've warned you viewers, like be warned. Yeah, Jerry, throw away citrine, throw away citrine. Jerry, no! Why did you throw away the key? Dang, Jerry, what the hell? Yeah. So all the other heroes kind of have good quirks, so Jerry uses the, the herb on Plague Doctor, loses Fencophobia, that's good. Jerry turns on the light. Jerry, Citrine, man, what the hell? But yeah. <laughs> Bang, son. Okay. Yeah. Jerry gets a torch. Yeah, Jerry should have bought more herbs in my opinion, and Jerry is not... Jerry is not like uh, combining those two torches in two separate separate inventory slots. That's kind of bad habit. I mean, Jerry doesn't suffer this skill issue anymore. But like six years ago, Jerry was like doing this. Don't do this. Combine them. But yeah. the ball blows. Nothing here. The well, Jerry just like blood. touches the eerie coral barehanded. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Guys, like, unless you're trying to like raise your torch with firewood or like some like uh, courier interaction or something just use torches in advance this crusader got this crusader got unnecessary stress from the trap interaction by stepping on the trap he got unnecessary stress because torch was low yeah kind of like raise your torch level keep it high didn't get the scout 
Jerry's walking, walking, walking. Another eerie coral. Jerry just like touches it with, you know, bare ends. Dang. Okay. Okay. So one thing, Crusader doesn't have stunning blow. He's carrying zealous accusation. Holy hell. Okay. No, no trinkets. I told you. Call of the deep. All right. Jellyfish gets a buff. Yeah. Like. Jerry isn't carrying Dazzling Light, Jerry is running Illumination, wow, okay. Don't run Im Illumination, it sucks. Yeah. Plague Doctor doesn't have Plague, like, Blinding Gas, amazing, right? I guess Jerry kinda hated stuns back then, like... Hellion is y running Yop, but not gonna lie, I don't think Jerry uses Yop even once in this expedition, at least not meaningfully, so... It's just there on the skill bar. Jerry might have wanted to use, might have wanted to have Adrenaline Rush because he would have actually used it. But like, yeah. Plague Grenade, that's a kill. Yeah, level 3 Plague Grenade should have like 5 Blight, so that's a kill. Okay, very weird thing that Jerry did 6 years ago. This Jellyfish had used its action. This Jellyfish still had the remaining action, but Jerry just attacked this one. This one, so so this one is still alive and this one is free to attack. Amazing, right? Yeah, jellyfish. Boom. Stuns the Vestal, yeah. Should have killed this jellyfish, right? Alright, uses Inspiring Cry. Interesting choice. That one's dead, not too shabby. Noxious Blast. That's an attack. That's a kill. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. Good, Jerry. Throw away Citrine. Yes, Citrine is like garbage. It's like 120, 1,250 gold even with a full stack. Yeah, Jerry, why did you throw away the key? I'm never gonna let him... <laughs> never gonna let him escape from this. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, why did you throw away the key for a Citrine? Jerry, why? Okay. <laughs> okay, Madman. Yeah, Plague Doctor would have really loved having Blinding Gas, but Jerry didn't like pli pli uh, Blinding Gas back then. He's gonna use Plague Grenade. Amazing, I know. Yeah, just gonna judgment the Madman. If I remember correctly, Madman has 5 HP now, and Plague Grenade would have dealt 5 Blight, so this one's gonna die when it gets his next when it gets its next action, so that's something. Yeah, the cultist brawler Wolverine guy misses. Spearfishing goes burr, boom. Okay. Yeah, apprentice pelagic grouper doesn't pull with the spearfishing. Veteran and champion pelagic grouper does. Wicked Act attacks the... Yeah, this guy. I would have like Aaron Swan personally, but yeah, whatever. Six years ago, burr. Barnacle Barrier, Madman gets guarded. Okay. Zealous Accusation! Wow, amazing. Yeah, like, it's not like Stunning Blow exists. Yeah, just... Interesting. <laughs> I mean, like, I killed one and damaged this guy too. Yeah, whatever. This one's dead. Yeah, Jerry, I would have yopped, but it's okay. It's like... It was like seven years ago. Six years ago, yeah. This one's dead. What does this one do? Inspire and cry. Autocestus miss. Amazing. I know, right? So like, yeah, boom. Yeah, I I might have even used if it bleeds because level three skills, like kinda good. Bleed chance. Yeah, just heals. Octocestus. Boom! Doesn't get the bleed. Nice. Stress heals one of the heroes, I think. Oh no, he just kills. Yeah, yeah like, I know it's six years ago. Jerry is a god gamer now, but like six years ago, Jerry probably should have just like let this Pelagic Guardian die from the blight and like used some more. Inspiring cries, but like it's what it is. Don't just yeah. 
just viewers just don't like follow his mistakes this Jerry has made a big sacrifice like deciding to share this gameplay footage yeah <laughs> still not like combining these torch stacks oh yeah got the blight because Jerry bought like only two keys yeah he bought two keys he used one in the secret room then he just like throw three one away for one citrine amazing like two citrine I don't care but yeah all right, battle! Surprise, the enemy, good. What does Jerry do? Play grenades, the pelagic shaman. Jerry uses if it bleeds, that's a kill, not too shabby. Jerry judgment, the thrall, gonna smite the thrall maybe, even zealous accusation, let's see. Zealous accusation! Hell yes, okay. Seaward Slash! Boom! Dodge! Nice. Not too shabby. Yeah, Battlefield Medicine removes the Blight from the Chest Curio. Interesting. Seaward Slash! Boom! 8 damage! Yeah, heals. Alright, what would you do now? I would like... Use Yop, stun this one. Like, use Inspiring Cry with the Crusader. Let's look at what Jerry does. Jerry just kills! Yeah, back then Jerry didn't have like... Stalling was not a vocabulary in Jerry's uh, dictionary back then. So, yeah. Just kills. Yeah. He could have like squeezed off some more heals, but like... Yeah, yeah. Jerry finally combines the torches. Good. Jerry takes this crest. It's a win. Moving on. Dun! Alright, surprised. Kinda amazing shuffle. <laughs> yeah, Jerry's like, hmm. What did I tell you, real? It was worth it to carry incision illumination for like, you know, in case of shuffles. Haha, <laughs> right? Yeah, Jerry just carry scouting trinkets. Like, don't get surprised. Even carry like book of intuition to prevent like getting surprised. Yeah, like don't carry both noxious blast and incision. That's like Lunatic stuff. Call of the Deep. Pelage Grouper gets a buff. Jerry uses Incision. Wows. Okay, that's good damage. Illumination. Yeah, guys, like this is from six years ago, so maybe like Illumination was stronger. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't really use the skill. It's success. <laughs> Spear fishing. My face when this is a Prentice Pelage Grouper so it can't pull. Pulling, like this attack, pulling Crusader would have been better in my opinion. Even with Lance, but yeah. Like look, okay. The Hellion just moved forward. What does the Crusader do? Let's watch. Gargling grab, blah, 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 blah. That's damage. Holy Lances. The Shaman. Yeah, so Hellion did nothing this round. Hellion did nothing this round. Okay. You'll notice a trend soon. Let's see. So, Brian, this thrall is gonna die from the bleed. Yeah. Hellion does the same thing again. Moves forward. <laughs> yeah. Crusader lances again. Hellion did nothing this round as well. I don't know. I might have just, like, skipped around with Hellion, to be honest. Like, get, like,. Vestal back, but yeah. Hellion did nothing for two rounds straight. Alright. Attacks gets the bleed on the snail too. Spear fishing, woo, dodge. Yeah, kills the... The, the pelage grouper with illumination. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, sorry guys, like... Yeah, like, I got an un unexpected, like, SNS message. I thought I had it turned off, but whatever. Stuff happens. Yeah. Hellion doing nothing for three rounds straight. That's amazing. I would have just passed the turn with Hellion. But yeah. Yeah, uses incision. That's good. This one's gonna die. Uses Inspiring Cry on like, I don't know, tries to heal, heal himself or something. What's going on? Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, Jerry just like skipped stuff, I guess. Recording stuff, burr burr. Yeah. Gets the critical scout. Wow, base game speed is so slow with scouting. Jerry didn't fix formations yet. <laughs> yeah, it, it would have been funny if he entered another battle with this. But yeah, he fixes the order now. Hellion, like, uh, disarms a trap. That's good. Jerry uses a torch. This is the boss battle right here. Boss battle. Boss battle here. Boss battle. Okay. Jerry enters a battle. Stress wave. Okay. Yeah, that's that's good. I mean, like this and like play grenade is gonna kill, but Yop is also skill. I mean, to be fair, like Jerry doesn't have much backline damage except for Hellion if this calm. Play grenade isn't a direct hit, like isn't instant raw damage, so makes sense. Gets the bleed. Play grenade. Yeah, that's a kill. Confirmed kill. Good. Yeah, Jerry just goes for raw damage. Gets a crit heal. That's stress heals. Rend for the old gods. Boom. Is that a bleed? Yes, it is. Boom. Is that a bleed? Okay, resist. Jerry's gonna ZA. Zilla's accusation! Such a good skill. I know, right? Jerry's gonna remove the bleed. That's That was the only reasonable thing to do, I guess. Jerry just goes for the kill again. Doesn't like yop, heal, inspiring cry. Their stalling wasn't a thing for Jerry back then, six years ago. Yeah, like... Crusader is like... You know has some HP loss. Yeah, Jerry realizes that like if I remember cor if I remember correctly, Jerry realizes that he doesn't need three bandages when Plague Doctor has like battlefield medicine. He bought two, he picked up one, I think. Yeah, so Jerry tosses the bandage, buys the gets the deed, like yeah. He didn't have to buy two bandages, but it's okay, whatever, six years ago. Yeah, he gets a torch. It's really Interesting, it's really funny to see like a god gamer six years ago playing so poorly. <laughs> Feels wild. Yeah. Jerry uses sharpened spear, uses one of the ambush skills. Mm. Yeah, he's gonna use bless to a hero like Hellion for more accuracy and dodge. He uses like, uh, yeah. The stress heal skill to heal like two stress. Jerry goes on, goes on, goes on, goes on, goes on. Jerry does something ballsy, just touches the curio with his bare ends. Jerry's gonna use the torch. Jerry's gonna feed the crusader food to heal his HP. Jerry's gonna use holy water for buffs on the re resists of the heroes and he enters apprentice crew nothing too fancy all hands on deck that's a pull all right jerry uses noxious blast on the crew okay makes sense drink with the dead yeah misses on the plague doctor that's nice jerry just uses uh, wick wicked hack Jerry just focuses, goes for the crew. Yeah. Jerry like smites the crew. Like lost half his its HP by now. Boarding clutch, another dodge, amazing. Yeah, heave two on the Crusader. Yeah. So like I've said this before, but Jerry had Yop on Hellion, but never used it the whole quest. And the other heroes, they didn't have stuns. None of them. No stuns, no stuns, no stuns. A stun on Drowned Puller would have been amazing, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> and Jerry just goes straight for a crew, doesn't even attack the Puller. Boarding Clutch, Brrr, attack, 
Blade resist. Nice, nice. Jerry uses play, uh, Noxious Blast directly. Yeah, like... Jerry could have, like, switched out Plague Grenade because, you know... Plague Doctor haven't, has, doesn't have any uses for it right now, but, you know, whatever, six years ago. Like. <laughs> Jerry finally starts hitting the puller! Zillus Accusation! Let's go! Okay... <laughs> Drink with the dead. Nice stress. Oh no. But yeah. All hands on deck. Post the hellion. Move gets resisted. That's a noxious blast. That's a judgment. Yeah. So long story short, Jerry just focuses the crew. Like doesn't do anything with puller. This is apprentice, so it kind of worked. But like. Doing this on champion, on like a veteran or a champion, wouldn't be so pretty in my opinion, usually. So, like, Jerry just attacks, kills, that's it. Yeah. Beyond the light's reach. So, 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 I'm gonna emphasize this once again. Jerry is currently a god gamer who has beaten uh, eight mono class estates, as in estates that Jerry just used one single hero class for the whole estate and like his jester estate was something like something insane like all bosses blood moon uh jester only estate so like he's really good at the game even if he uh focuses mostly on mono class estates not normal estates but yeah um so six years ago jerry didn't really use stuns hellion had yop but didn't use it the whole quest no stunning blow, no dazzling light, no uh, blinding gas, no disorienting blast. Yeah, no blinding gas, no disorienting blast. No trinkets whatsoever on any of the four heroes. Stalling wasn't a thing for Jerry back then. He just, you know, rushed to kill enemies. So that's something. Yeah, this is a very inspirational video because six years ago, like, as all players are, Jerry wasn't good at the game. I don't buy it whenever someone says, like, I was a natural at this. I was a god gamer as soon as I started playing. Or if someone says, like, not me, but someone else was a god player as soon as they started playing. I don't buy that shit. No one is perfect as soon as they start playing. Because I've played, I've played this game for over 8,000 hours and I still think I suck at this game quite a lot. So, but yeah, like, six years ago, Jerry didn't run stuns. Jerry didn't... <laughs> have trinkets on heroes, Jerry didn't stall. So, this is very inspirational. Even if you suck right now, even if you suck at playing Darkest Dungeon right now, if you keep playing, if you like try to get better, you can get better. So this is a very inspirational story, um, inspirational video and I really thank Jerry for, uh, how do I say this? For providing us with this great uh, gameplay footage, very educational stuff and yeah. Jerry is surely going to leave a comment on this video. Surely going to leave a comment on this video, Jerry, right? Like, yeah. I mean, like, man, I, I have so many things to, like, keep saying to you, Jerry. Why did you throw away the keys for that set tree, Jerry? Why? Why did you do it? Yeah. Anyways, like, thanks for watching. Like, uh, please, please, please feel generous. Like, leave a like. Like, comment. Like, yeah. Maybe even subscribe if you haven't. And... If you want me to like nitpick on your stuff, offer you feedback and advice on your gameplay footage as well, uh, leave me a link of your gameplay footage, leave a YouTube YouTube link and I'll be happy to like nitpick nerd talk. So uh, this is it. This was me, the real me. See you next time. Thank you.